Hey there Titans, I'm Valerie Santana. And I'm Kylie Bushhausen. Bringing you the latest news in this edition of DTN3 for Friday, February 24th. Do you want to travel and receive school credit but can't decide where to go? Well, in an attempt to raise interest, studying and conducting research in Brazil, Cal State Fullerton's Latin American Studies program, along with Amigos do Brasil, will be screening Brazilian films to raise awareness of the vibrant country. Although the first one has already passed, you can catch the next two films on February 27th and March 5th. For more information on the locations and reasoning behind this movement, please visit www.fullerton.edu. Plenty of events are going on through campus this week. The College of Arts is presenting its annual Arts Week, officially beginning today and continuing through Sunday, March 4th. Art and music from students and faculty will be displayed and played on various locations of campus, from the Holbrook Theater to the Titan Student Union. The event is free, and for a full rundown of the events, please visit facebook.com slash artsweek2012. Now let's go to Brandon, who was at the ASI cookout yesterday in the quad. What's cooking, Brandon? Thanks guys, I'm standing out here in front of the ASI cookout. They're just getting underway here behind me. Uh, let's go talk to some of these guys and see how the food tastes. How's the food today? Food is awesome. I love my hot Cheetos. I love my water and my hot dog. I already finished it. What'd you eat today? A hot dog and a bag of chips and a soda. How did it taste? It's amazing. So what are you guys doing here today? We have our monthly ASI cookout give away free food for students at the same time we would like to offer students you know what we offer in ASI as a service so we got a good turnout here today at the cookout and uh, tastes pretty good too back to you guys in the studio thanks for the delicious update Brandon baseball season is quickly approaching and with major league baseball players reporting to spring training this week it seems as though Bobby Brayu doesn't have a position on the field the acquisition of Albert Pujols to the Angels lineup meant they had to do some infield switching, which left Abreu without a spot. Abreu recently told an ESPN reporter that he would rather be traded than sit on the bench. Only time will tell Abreu's fate with the Halos. Speaking of Halos, the sun will be beaming this weekend. We brought out the umbrellas last week, but there have been record-breaking temperatures within the past couple of days. Let's take a look at the beautiful weather we are expecting this weekend. Today it will remain sunny with a high of 72 and get chilly in the evening with a low in the 50s, so be prepared. Saturday and Sunday will remain in the mid-70s, but if you're planning on heading towards downtown LA to join the Oscar fun, don't worry about a jacket and be ready to show off your outfit because it will be a hot day with the highs in the 80s. What's well, an outfit without some bling, Valerie? Apparently not an outfit at all. Well, as the Oscar countdown continues and Hollywood rolls out the red carpet, George Clooney, Octavia Spencer, and Meryl Streep get the finishing touches to top off their outfits. I was able to try on some of the jewelry you could be seen on the red carpet. With earrings approximately $100,000 and a ring valued at $600,000, this was a chance for me to feel like a celebrity or literally a million bucks. Alright Titans, that does it for this edition of DTN3. So go on, soak in the sun, enjoy the Oscars, and tune in next week for the latest news. Have a fabulous weekend.